Hello, and welcome to the latest Salesforce Connect release. I'm Katie Hemphill, your product manager, announcing all the new features available. Before we jump in, here are the items we will be going over today. Automated transfer considerations, seminar enhancements, appointment changes, and updated lead recycle rules. Previously, our Salesforce Connect had frequent in instances where leads and accounts would stay under the original owner's name even when they moved to a different AOR. Due to this, we were asked for a resolution. The Salesforce team then set up an automation process that would change the lead and account owner to the newly transferred team member's manager. During the time since we went live, we heard this rule may be too stringent, so the Salesforce team has now upgraded the automatic lead and account transfers to only consider when a team member moves market. This means if you are moving to a different team within the same market, your leads and accounts will stay in your name. If you move to a different market, your leads and accounts will automatically be transferred to your previous manager. Next, we have the most recent seminar enhancements. In this release, you will begin to receive emails if you have not updated the attendees to your seminar as attended or no show. Along with the email, we have made modifications to the total cost on the seminar campaign. Previously, this field was inaccurately calculating all related costs to the campaign. This has now been fixed and you should see an accurate value in order to track the success of your event. Our third item related to the release is the appointment changes. You may have noticed a new field on your appointment creation screen called appointment type. In this dropdown, you have various options to select from, including creating sales appointment, customer service, ACV, and CIR for your certificate of internment right. These types were included so that we can implement a streamlined approach for all appointments in the same place, rather than utilizing the non-sales appointment feature in Salesforce. Now you have one place to go to create all of your appointments. Another feature available with the appointment changes is the CIR delivered checkbox. If you have delivered the CIR for the customer, click this box for a clear representation of what occurred in the appointment. Lastly, we have updated the lead recycle rules for any unworked leads. The previous rules were set to have leads recycled back to the queue if they were unworked based off of the following logic. Website, four hours, direct mail, eight hours, and ACV eight hours as well. These rules have been updated to now follow the following logic. Website leads unworked for one hour, it will recycle back to the queue. Direct mail has been extended to 24 hours. ACVs have remained the same with eight hours. And then all other digital facing responses, including email, Facebook, virtual, imminent, and others will follow the same rule as website. If the lead is unworked with the allotted time frame, it will be reassigned back to the queue based off of the latest campaign response. These rules were put into place to ensure families are followed up with in a timely manner. I hope you've enjoyed hearing about these incredible features. If you have any questions or encounter any issues, please reach out to our team by emailing csa at sci-us.com. Thanks and stay tuned for the next video.